hello everyone and in this video we will see how to give dimensions for an object and how to edit the dimension style and dimension method so to give first we will draw an object line I made it as 100 mm line now I made circle see to give the dimensions here we have the annotation bar in the annotation tab we are having different different see this is related to the text and this is related to the dimension giving the linear dimension aligned dimension angular arc length so to give the radius of a circle to give the diameter coordinates job everything so this is the line so that's why i'm choosing as a linear linear and this is a circle so we can give the dimensions either in the radius or as a diameter so i am taking first radius see the radius is 25 otherwise we can give the diameter diameter is 50 perfect if you see here the size of the text is very small so to increase the text we need to edit the dimension style so before editing we have to have a look what are the dimension styles we are having so click on the drop down menu annotation here you can see this is related to the text and this is related to the text and dimension style this is related to the dimension style and this is related to the leader editing styles leader leader lines and this is related to the table editing styles as of now our purpose is to edit the dimension style so that's why i am taking dimension style click on the drop down menu click on the drop down menu here you can see that annotative iso 25 standard these three methods are available to give dimensions for an object i am clicking manage dimension styles manage dimension styles right now at present the present dimension style is iso 25 iso 25 so iso what is the difference between iso 25 standard and then annotative see in the iso 25 i am just giving the modify i am just giving the modify you can see here lines baseline spacing is 3.75 and extend beyond dimension lines 1.25 offset from origin is 0.625 in the iso 25 method of dimensioning as well as here text height is 2.5 text height is 2.5 have a look 1.25.625 just cancel now i am clicking standard modify see previously it was 1.25.625 but whereas here 0 0.18 0 0.0625 coming to text see 0 0.18 it differs from each and every style so we can edit whatever we require actually the values present what they are having it is default dimension styles if you click on standard you can see arrow size equals to 0.18 extension line offset equals to 0 0.06 dimension line spacing is equals to 0.38 so these are the default values for the um, parameters so you can choose either iso 25 or standard so present we will take standard and then modify modify if you see here we can have a preview window is here preview window is here lines what are dimension lines and what are extension lines you can see here if you are giving the dimension the line which is having which contains dimension is the dimension line the lines which are projected from the projected from the ends i mean at the ends of the diagram is called extension line or projection lines the same way in the autocad you can edit the dimension styles at present the color by block is white color suppose if i am giving a red if i am giving red dimension line see automatically the dimension line color change from white to red color 
and line type you can change line types now present it is a continuous it should be continuous no need to change and line weight so by default it is around 0 0.15 mm if you want to increase you can increase the see when i am giving 0.5 you you can i mean you can see the when you are giving the dimension you can experience that the thickness will increase line weight so i do i am going just by layer i am just going by layer and baseline spacing this is all coming to the uh, parameters uh, which uh, extend from the dimension okay so extension lines this one these are the extension lines by layer it is in uh, white in color if you want to give yellow color see automatically it changes to yellow color but i am going with by layer means white color only just i am giving it here this is about this is all about lines this is all about lines okay so you can see it here one more uh, parameter offset from origin see the line which starts from here see there is a space that is called offset from origin if you are giving zero immediately the, the this from this point itself the line white line will start but here it is having some spacing 0.06 to a very minute gap gap should be there and coming to symbols and arrow as of now you can see filled closed filled arrowheads are there closed filled arrowheads suppose if i am giving dot see automatically the arrowheads change it to dot but in the dimensions for the present we need to have the closed filled otherwise you can select whatever the type of arrowhead we require type of arrowhead we require actually this type of arrowheads depends on the uh, purpose i mean like um, purpose like uh, it's if it is of ends if it is of uh, breakage so different different arrowheads we will use it there leaders leader we are till now we have not used it we'll discuss it about later leaders also closed field and arrow size arrow size defaultly it is in 0 0.18 0 0.18 i am making it as 3 i am making it as 3 and center marks yes mark should be there on these all uh, default no need to touch coming to text see text see arrowhead arrowhead is this one default 0.18 text text is 0 0.18 text is 0 0.18 maybe it is in uh, inches we need to convert it to uh, millimeters so default is 0.18 if you want to increase the text height make it as 0 0.25 0 0.25 text style text style if you want to change the style of the text present it is in arial if i want times new roman times new roman either if you want regular bold italic you can choose it and then apply for the present standard style close text placement text placement see at present horizontal method is there horizontal we studied that in the unidirectional system always the diamond i mean the text will be placed at the center and always we can read the text from the bottom from the bottom no need to turn from the right uh, turn like see as in the aligned system we need to study from the bottom as well as from the right hand side right hand edge of the uh, edge but here in the unidirectional system doesn't require every dimension we can read it from the bottom so and also we we are placing the dimension exactly at the middle of the dimension line the same here exactly at the middle of the dimension line vertical centered horizontal centered yes this is the related to the standard and text alignment we made it as horizontal fit is this default no need to touch primary units see unit format is decimal precision we can change it to 0 0.00 0 0.00 see immediately the four decimal points change it to two decimal points because we gave 0 0.00 okay and then decimal separator here comma will be there space will be there period will be there period means dot so i am choosing dot instead of comma period alternate units that doesn't require tolerances as of now not required for this one okay after giving i mean after the modifications set current 
close. Now, I am selecting this one, standard, see, standard. The text size is very small, the text size is very small because 0.18, because of 0.18 text size. Standard, manage dimension styles, modify text, I am giving it as 4. See, now the text size changed from 0 0.18 to 100, where as well as arrowheads is very small in size. Again, you can change it, modify, see if arrow size is 0.18, it should be 3, okay, close. See perfectly, now we are given the dimension according to the standard standard suppose if you if you want to change to ISO, ISO 25 just click on it from standard just give ISO 20 see immediately it changes to ISO 25 you can change the ISO 25 modify uh, dimension styles as like in the standard dimensions just click it here ISO 25 sorry manage dimension styles ISO 25 you can modify whatever you want but present we are following standard standard okay yeah so now for these two dimension styles also i am taking standard standard yeah okay finished standard one more option is there here annotate you what is that annotate you see this is just 100 mm, 25, 50 mm. Now I am going to draw a line of 1500 mm. 1500 mm. Now I am going to give dimension for this one. dimension for this one see the text is very very small the text is very very small and if you click on this one you can see that the dimension style is in standard the dimension style is in standard but now for the same dimension line i am going to change not iso 25 not standard i am going to change it to annotative yeah annotative see if you place the cursor on this one, it doesn't indicate anything, just it will give the dimension. But if I am placing a separate symbol, you can see, a separate symbol you can see uh, above the cursor line, like arrow mark. It relates us to the present dimension is in annotative, annotative. See, now the scale is in 1 is to 1, the scale is 1 is to 1. If I am increasing the size, 1 is to 50, see perfectly based on the scale the dimension value will amplify the dimension value will amplify but the same dimension the size i mean text size will amplify so that's the purpose of using annotative now i am going to change instead of 1 is to 50 i am going to change 1 is to 20 see so this is the purpose of using annotative this type of dimension will be used in civil constructions very large drawings as of now not required for this type of uh, simple constructions now for the same dimension style because it is not visible right now present it is in standard now i am going to change it to annotative see immediately when i am changing to annotative based on the based on the scale it the i mean the dimension of the uh, diameter amplifies the dimension of the diam uh, diameter amplifies so this is the purpose of i mean usage of annotative style of dimensioning the same thing applicable for uh, for a text also so now uh, for everything I am going to give only standard I am deleting this one because you got the concept standard yes so this is the way of dimensioning an object 
and the various methods of giving dimension styles. I think you are clear. That's it.